Now, battles over drilling for gas have already taken place in Lancashire and at Barton Moss near Salford, but the new front line is a field near Chester Zoo. Yeah, anti-fracking protesters moved in over the weekend to try and stop Dart Energy from test drilling a field in Upton. Stuart Pollock reports. Fanning the flames of protest or fueling a fight to protect where they live. Whatever your opinion, residents set up camp at the weekend, saying they're here for the long haul. We've got a mix of people from Manchester, Liverpool. Uh, we've got local residents camping here. We'll, we'll be here until they go away. I haven't been sleeping out, but I have been coming down on a daily basis to offer my support, to protest. We do have our detractors. We do have uh, activists that don't want fossil fuels. This uh, is the man they're protesting against, Dart Energy CEO John McGoldrick. He recently told Australian investors there was up to 100 trillion cubic feet of gas under northern England. So if I can get 10% of the in-place reserves, it doesn't take me many square miles to have an enormous amount of gas. Dart is one of three firms with licences to test drill in the northwest, along with Quadrilla in Lancashire and iGas around Greater Manchester. Dart's licence covers a large part of Cheshire. Today the firm was packing up after testing this site in Farndon, 10 miles from Chester. We're told they're coming here next day, so we're, we're getting here before they get here on the land. We've got eight schools within one mile radius from here. We can't have these trucks going around affecting children like this, like, let alone the zoo. This site is around a mile from the region's most visited tourist attraction here at Chester Zoo. The zoo says it is concerned by the possible wildlife and environmental impact of what it calls unconventional gas extraction. Dart Energy didn't respond to our request for comment today, but Cheshire West and Chester Council confirmed the firm has applied for planning permission to test drill for coal bed methane. Whenever its workers arrive, they won't find a warm welcome. Stuart Pollitt, BBC Northwest Tonight, Chester. Yeah, so that's the situation in Cheshire where test drilling could start soon. In Salford, test drilling at the Barton Moss site, operated by iGas, finished last week. Now that, as I'm sure you remember, was a hugely controversial operation with anti-fracking protesters setting up camp and trying to block access to the site. Mm. Well, they say they found gas in the shale there. The bill for policing those protests, though, now stands at what, more than one and a half million pounds. Earlier, I spoke to John Blamires from iGas, and I asked him if they'd be chipping in. I think it's a matter for the government, ultimately, in the Home Office to determine how best to compensate and, and uh, address this. There has been a move down in Sussex where the Home Office has agreed to contribute towards the costs incurred there. So I think there is a precedent being set. The Prime Minister sat on this very sofa last week and said he would certainly consider helping Greater Manchester Police. But many people might think you're the people, ultimately, who are going to profit from this if fracking happens. And just as football clubs pay towards the policing of matches, pubs and bars pay towards the policing of town centres, you should pay towards helping police the protests. Well, if this is successful, then there will be an enormous benefit to the nation as a whole in terms of tax revenues, etc. And so it is from that that goes to pay towards the main uh, policing forces, etc. So I think that's ultimately the, the benefit that will come from the activity that we've been undertaking. So we now have six months of testing the gas at Barton Moss, the potential for more wells around the northwest. Do you see from what you've seen elsewhere in other parts of the world, wherever, your experience, that fracking here is now more likely than ever? Well, I think, I think in order to demonstrate whether or not shale gas can bring the benefits that people talk about to the nation and to the area, we need to, at some point, frack a well and determine whether it will flow and flow at rates that can be considered commercial. If we're able to do that, and I think we can do that both safely and environmentally responsibly, then Shell offers a tremendous uh, benefit to both the region and the nation as a whole in terms of security supply, in terms of inward investment, jobs and training and new skill sets. But the key is, first of all, we have to demonstrate that it can be done commercially. John Blamires, thank you. Thank you, Roger.